coupon. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with the story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Michael. It has happened again. What appears to be another erroneous 911 call made about a black person doing something that would ordinarily be deemed mundane. Camille Hudson says she went into a Chicago CVS Friday night and tried to use a coupon. What happened next has been shared repeatedly on social media under the hashtag Coupon Carl. It's a female. Well, his hand shakes uncontrollably. His resolve is unflinching. A CVS manager captured on cell phone video in Chicago as he calls 911 because of a coupon controversy. Black. No, I'm not African American. I'm black. Black isn't a bad word. The man calls the police on a black customer attempting to use the coupon seen here. They never tried to process the coupon. They never scanned it. This morning, Camilla Hudson is speaking out. She's the woman behind the camera and the voice you can hear in the video. He goes, well, I can't accept this. So I said, okay, why can't you accept it? Because it looks fraudulent. That's when she says that CVS manager, Maury Matson dials 911. He says to me, you should probably leave because I've called the police. Chicago police confirmed to ABC News they responded to a call of an assault at the CVS store, saying they were informed that a female was inside the store threatening the staff and refusing to leave. Hudson's experience is just the latest in a string of viral videos showing people dialing 911 on black people seemingly attempting to do ordinary things. From meeting at Starbucks, charcoal grills are not allowed here, to having a barbecue and mowing the lawn, even visiting the community pool. And nobody else was asked their ID. But back in Chicago, Hudson says she's not upset with CVS refusing the coupon, but how the manager handled the situation. He could have easily said, I'm sorry, ma'am, this isn't a coupon I'm familiar with. Maury Madsen declined our request for comment. CVS apologized to Hudson and says they are investigating. Released a statement saying CVS Pharmacy does not tolerate any practices that discriminate against any customer and we are committed to maintaining a welcoming and diverse environment in our stores. We are still trying to confirm if the coupon is valid, not that that means... A really? Really? So you're going to sit here and... Sh- Tremble and call 911. His name was Maury Madsen. I mean, th- this is now getting outrageous. It, 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 it's getting silly and, and, and it's sickening because, and, and these people don't even care if, if they lose their job. They don't even care. Now, for him to sit there and call 911 on somebody. For a suspicious coupon, and the coupon wasn't suspicious at all. Okay, you could have checked it out. You could have called the head corporation or head manager, the district manager, to see whether the coupon was valid or not. See, this is the problem. And this is why people say what what they say, and I say it again. They don't want to be involved with none of with a lot of Caucasians they just want to get away from them because every time they get around them this stuff happens and it's not everybody I'm not saying every single one of them but you see the mass majority thinks that way every week there's going to be is something different somebody calling the cops on somebody okay at the end and, and at the end of the day it's ridiculous. And I'm going to tell you why. And another thing I heard. See, Trump has some of these people emboldened to do certain things. You know, calling the cops on somebody going into the, a swimming pool. Calling the cops for having a picnic. Calling the cops for mowing grass. See, one of these days, the wrong cop is going to be in that situation. In that situation. And somebody's going to get killed. And when that person gets killed, that's when the turn up is going to start. And then you'll have people sitting there saying, well, you know, you shouldn't do that. You should learn to forgive. You should learn how to turn the other cheek. You should just wait for stuff. People are tired. They're, They're tired. So, and people are losing their jobs. And he deserves to lose his job because you calling the cops for nonsense. Because you don't know how to handle people or you feel threatened by black people. 
See, this is the thing. When people start to lose their jobs and they start to lose their livelihoods, they don't understand. Social media is a big thing now. It's a big thing. This woman wasn't being disruptive. This woman wasn't causing havoc. She just said, she sat there and said, why can't you use it? Why can't she use the card? Can you check it out? Can you get somebody else to check it out? If you thought it was something funny about the thing, but he didn't do it. He went ahead and called the cops. And this man is trembling like his life is being threatened. Like somebody has a gun to his head. Oh my goodness. This is... This, uh, <laughs> the more and more I see this, it's like... Man, the, the, I mean, it, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't. And then you'll have people say, Well, he shouldn't have lost his job for this. You know, he has to protect the people in the store. Come on. Lady wasn't causing a scene. She asked why she couldn't use it. And these people are getting emboldened on calling the cops. It happened at Starbucks. It happened in other places. It's happening all over. It happened in T-Mobile. Sooner or later... A bad thing is going to happen behind this and somebody's going to get killed and then when somebody's going to get killed that's when the turn up is going to happen i'm not going to say riot i'm not going to say looting i'm going to say it's going to turn be turned up and then you're wondering why black people are tired and black people saying you know what we need to get our own area we need to get our own town so we can be to ourselves this is why you hear this And then you had them saying, well, why do you hate us so bad? No, we don't hate y'all that bad because we don't call the cops on y'all like that. If you don't know how to deal with certain types of people, then you shouldn't be working in an area of customer service where you have to do with, deal with all types of public people. I don't go at my job calling the cops on a bunch of people because I don't like the attitude. I don't do that. I don't go calling the cops on people just for calling the cops because they don't like the answer that I gave them. No, I don't do that. They either accept the answer or they move on. Now, if they're causing a scene and if they're being belligerent, if they're being ignorant and being nasty, then I'll step in and say, you know what? Now I'm going to do something. But I'm not calling the cops for no nonsense. And black people don't even call the cops like that. They rarely do. But this is a sickening story. The guy deserved to be fired. And you know what? Uh, these, and social media is a good thing. These videos are going to keep coming out. These videos are going to keep showing these people acting a fool. And people are going to keep losing their jobs. And then I don't want to hear nobody say, well, he shouldn't have lost his job for that. Now they're just being petty. They calling the, Well, stop calling the cops on people for, for nonsense. Call the cops on somebody if you, you feel that they're being really, really disruptive. She wasn't being disruptive. She asked why couldn't she use it. See, he thought that she was going to cause a scene. And she didn't even cause a scene. And you trembling like somebody got a gun to your head. Make sure um, you leave a comment, like the video, and for more videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel.